so today is an unboxing video and it's actually part two of my real akuma miniature unboxing video and my glasses are fogging up i think we're seeing a running theme here you know guys now uh the ones that i am unboxing today is the i think this one is called half stone time i mean this packaging only has all japanese on it so i'm not going to tell you the names on this one and this one is the japanese life set um, now, I, I didn't mention in the beginning of my last video, but I got these from Tofu Cute. It's actually cheaper on Tofu Cute because I looked on other sites such as Amazon, and Tofu Cute seems to sell at the actual retail price, so that was really good. Now, another thing I, <laughs> I noticed from their boxes last time is that they um, usually, when you have RMN sets, you can get the entire whole sets and they would be boxed. So I think when they were picking out my packaging, they must have got it from a complete set so I'll either get well I'll get pairs is what I'm trying to say if, if that makes sense I, I don't think I'm making sense but yeah let's get to unboxing these all right so I am thinking of starting with the Japanese life now these are super cute because it's got like the cute bonsai and basically this is just Japanese life now let's see what we can get uh, we can get oh okay I can't pronounce these Japanese desk tea ceremony Japanese sweets uh, Japanese souvenir, New Year food, Japanese hobby, and sewing set. Hmm, now let's see, what would I like to get? Um, they're all pretty cute actually, although I do like really like green tea, so that would be super cute to get. And I think, hmm, I don't know, the Japanese souvenirs are also super cute. Now, like I was trying to say earlier, um, these have come from a complete set, so I'll probably get like, maybe like seven and eight, or five and six etc because yeah I think it's a shame actually that they don't sell uh, the entire complete set boxes on this site because I really wish they would because that is oh what's this because that is really nice so I mentioned before in my previous video um it's really good because you have these bits on the back which you can cut out and construct stuff and I think depending on your set sometimes you do have to do that for it to be oh okay so i got number five japanese souvenirs which means hopefully my other box might be the new year food but we will see and this is all the bits together that you can see now uh these are all the bits the plates are so cute <laughs> uh, okay this is, this is adorable now first we have this cute little plate and seriously the detailing on these are just so good put that there then oh wait a second wait a second wait a second you have the little stand for the plate so i just uh oh oh no uh okay my uh my little loppy bunnies just they fell off you guys wouldn't be in the video and if oh, okay i'll sort you guys out in the background so you don't knock a shell over you silly beans and then you've got a cute little purse which is really kuma shaped super cute put this down here and then you have the little bottle these are so cute i hope i wonder if they do a full size bottle of this they probably do because it's adorable so they must put that here and then you have a little fan which is like so and it's kind of i don't it's kind of hard to see but i think that Rulukuma is holding a strawberry. Actually, that's the white one. I don't know what the white one is called. But yeah, I need to pick up the wrong box. Okay, and then let's get this one. I am, if my suspicions are correct, that this has come from a complete box, I should be getting the New Year food. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, oh no, I got the tea ceremony, okay. Okay, so, because I was assuming that when they took it out from the complete set, they would just grab two, but this person must have mixed it up. Because in my last box, I got the twos from the together. But, oh, the Japanese, yeah, tea ceremony. Yes, this is the one I wanted. Actually, this is really nice. And that's, like, the back bit. So I'm guessing that's, like, a little mat you cut out to put on the thing. I'm not sure. And these are the bits. Oh, this is all very itty-bitty. Many, many little things. Oh, the teapot looks so cute, and then you've got like that little bowl. So, firstly, you've got the little teacup, which is adorable because I actually drink like the proper powder match tea, and I have the bamboo uh, bamboo thingy, and that's a bit that goes in to make it the tea. And that's super cute. Super, super cute. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put that here. 
and then you have like the little bamboo uh, whisk thing. Now here's a fun fact about the bamboo whisk. Um, these are actually quite expensive, but that's because they are made from a single piece of bamboo, like one piece of bamboo, and, that, and then they cut it to make like this. That's why it's so expensive. But I think that is like, yeah, just a fun fact for you guys, really. <laughs> okay, and then it's like, okay, it's not gonna stay up. Oh! I'm looking about to stand it upright like this in the picture, am I? Uh, okay, I'll just go like this. Boop. Okay, and I think this is really cute because um, you have this bit, which is, I don't know, you have, do they have like a candle underneath the teapot? I'm guessing so, because this goes in like so. And then the teapot goes on top like so, which is cute. And then let me just get the lid. The lid, ah, fiddly, so fiddly. Okay, like, like, like that. My hands are shaking a bit too much. Stay still. And then last but not least, you always have like the little snacky thing which comes with the tea ceremony, which is on a cute really cool my plate. And I don't know what this is. Ah, I was trying to find the pattern side. Because <laughs> I was like, it can't just be a block by itself. If this is the pattern side, and that's super cute. Okay. I'm gonna move these. Uh, I'll just move it close together so I've got space for the other set. Oh, ah, no, come back. <laughs> okay. So. These were the two, if you will focus. Are you going to focus for me? There you go. So these were the two I got. I got three and five from the set. I got the one I wanted. Oh, actually, I think I wanted both of these, didn't I? Very nice, okay. Now for the half stone time. Now I won't be able to tell you guys um, what the names of the pieces in the set are because it is all in Japanese and I can't read Japanese. But let's have a look what we can get. And actually, all this stuff looks super duper cute. So, wow. I wish I, I wish I knew what these things were called. They're all really cute though. Ooh, let's see. Now, which ones would I like to get? Maybe like the takoyaki things, because that's super cute, but also that's really cute, and so is that. <laughs> or the bento. The bento is really cute, isn't it? Okay, I would be happy with any of the ones from this set, and oh my god, they have like a yam. That's so cute! Okay, let's see which ones I get. And a little pamphlet come out. Come out. There we go. Oh! <gasps> oh, oh no, this is okay. <laughs> okay, I know which one I got. I went oh no because, um, wait, wrong side. Because I'm gonna have to cut out all these little cards now because that's what I'm like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cutting these out <laughs> later. But I got this set which requires ooh, a wee bit of assembly. I mean, if you see there's a little tissue thing and it even comes with the little tissue thing in here. So, okay, this is uh, requires lots of assembly kind of set. That's gonna be fun, but it's really this way. And that is the inside. Okay, that is the inside of all stuff together. This is on like some pretty good card, actually. This is adorable though. <laughs> Am I gonna make it? Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Okay, so let me just take the stuff out. Got the little carton, so I'm gonna have to glue that so I won't be able to show you that just yet. And you got like the potato chips and the biscuits. The biscuits. Um, oh, isn't this just like the setup they would have on the Katatsu table? I think that's kind of like the setup they would have, wouldn't it? Here are the potato chips. Oh, wait, which number was this in the set? This is number three in the set. We've got the potato chips, which are really cute. I kind of wish I had a mini, like a mini katatsu or table. Oh, I do have a mini table. I'm not gonna grab it, that's too much effort. Yeah, I'm lazy. Then you have all the satsumas, which go on the plate, and they have little faces on them. How cute is that? <laughs> Look how cute that is. And they're like a really cool one. The little ears on my fingers are shaking like mad. And one more, don't stop shaking. Oh my god, I just can't. My hand is just like uh, everywhere. Okay, and then like the little potato chips, like if you look at the detailing on it, it's got the little Rilakkuma face on it. And that's so cute. I'm gonna focus. There we go. And that's supposed to kind of like look like it's spilt out the bag a bit. Does this have a face on it too? Yes, it does. It's got the little cheeky bird. Little cheeky bird face on it. There we go. It's like finding the right sort of. No, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Focus on my potato chip. Focus on my potato. Oh my god, guys, it doesn't want to focus on the potato chip. Well, shoot. I wonder if I just hold it like this and you can see it. 
There we go. You have my pink ass looking hand. Hand isn't that pink in real life. Okay, put these on here. It's adorable. Super cute. Super cute. And this one can go here. Nice. Now I'm gonna move it over so I have space. Space, space, space. Seriously though, this is like awesome. <laughs> Right, I'll put this here. Okay, very last box. Very last box. I wonder if I'll get box four. We'll see. We will see. Uh, oh no, we got two. Okay, so that was an odd way of... Okay, well I got two. So I got the one next to it. Uh, okay, that box is also going to require a little bit of construction. Uh, wherever that bit is. Where is it? Is it on the back? No, is it... Is it in here? Oh, it's already in here. Okay, that's good, that's good. Move all the rush aside, because I don't actually like get rid of the important bits of paper, because that would not be fun. And these are the bits here. That's the casing where I'm assuming I'm gonna be. Well, actually, it's just a pretty decorative one. But actually, oh, oh, okay, I just noticed. This one has like the little tape on it already for easy construction, like double side tape, which is really good. These are the bits, and super cute. I'm going to be careful cutting this out because I don't want to accidentally cut the cardboard. Okay, so this is what the box design looks like. Again, I'll pause the video in a bit and I'll make all the little bits. Although, uh, this is cutting these ones out are going to take me a little while. So, <laughs> you might have to wait and see that on Instagram later. Here is the little ball. Let's turn it the right way. Super cute. <laughs> I love all these designs. They're so adorable. And where did my card go? Oh no, where's my card? Um, what did I do with the card? Oh my god. Okay. Jeez, guys, I lose things in like 0.2 seconds. And here is the little teapot. I think that's a teapot. It looks cute. It looks like it's meant to be ceramic. And the lid on top. There we go. The lid on top. That's so cute. Super, super cute. I'll pop that here. Uh, oh wait, no. It's got like the little sort of resting mat to go on under. Let me like this yeah and then we have the tea pop teacup teacup yes teacup which is a little cheeky and then you put this in to make it look like the tea is in there which is cool so i'll put that here and then we have the little what are these called the these these things i know what they are because they're yummy they usually have red bean and i don't know i like the ones with red bean oh it's got a little rukuma on it it's so cute and these go on the plate one here and then we have a white one which has strawberry filling by the looks of it That's super cute <laughs> here. okay let's uh let me just focus on these these super cute super duper cute and i'm gonna pause now so i can make the things for us hey these were actually really easy to make now i'll show you the tissue box first this one actually didn't require any glue or anything because it just folded into like a normal box and it is adorable. I will probably cut out a little bit of tissue so I can put it in here and it'll look like adorable and cute. But just seriously, this box design by itself is cute as hell. I wonder if they have like an actual uh, Rilakkuma tissue box design which is like that in, in like the normal human size. Oh, are you gonna focus for me? There we go, in the normal human size, but that's that. So I'm gonna like move this forward to put this here. And this is the little pastry box, I'm guessing, <laughs> and it's super cute, super simple, because this one already had double-sided sticky tape on it, so all I had to do was just remove it. Okay, and I'll put this here. Right, it's time for the favourite bit of me shakily panning with my terrible holding steady hand skills. Now, which was your favourite one from this set? <laughs> Now, I quite like the Japanese life set, but, um, the heart, wait, which one was this? Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Oh, but I quite like the half Sentai one, because that's just, like, really nice, sort of, traditional stuff. Actually, both of these boxes were sort of fairly Japanese life traditional ones, but, yeah, I would say, actually, it's really hard to pick a favourite again. Again, I always, I always have hard times, but it's definitely out of these two, I think, well, actually, I quite like the matcha tea ones. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I am going to say. Okay, okay, yes. This one is my favourite from 
this collection. What was yours? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see me unbox more of these adorable really human miniatures or any miniatures of any kind, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.